Yay. Hello, everyone. It's Friday. It's Fierce Female Friday. And it's a Moxie Chat Day. You all know how much I love Moxie Chat Day. And today I have an amazing woman to introduce you to all to. So Heather Fink and I met through Mia Voss. And Mia, I've talked about a bajillion times on the show in the past because she always has this really fun live show every Friday, Fr Friday with Frenchies. And there's always some sort of fabulous boozy sip involved and intention cards and snark and real talk. So that's how I met Heather. And so I am really excited for all of you to get to know her a bit bit more. Uh, let me read, let me put my specs on so I can read to you a little bit about Heather. So as you know, from the show um, advertising, she's the founder and CEO of the sexiest beauty. <laughs> uh, she is, she's for over 25 years, Heather has been developing world class beauty products for some of the sexiest, most sophisticated, provocative, edgy, fashion forward brands in the world. Whew. She's led teams at Victoria's Secret Beauty, Mac, Essie, uh, Bebe, Agent Provocateur, which mm -hmm. I am super excited to know like way more about that. Uh, and some of the most iconic products ever seen in beauty. So we are going to be talking about beauty today, but we're going to be talking about beauty with a purpose and how we can turn the, we can flip the conversation about the beauty industry through having a purpose behind every purchase. And this woman right here is the one to lead this conversation. Welcome, 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 Heather. Oh, thanks, Deborah. And I'm so thrilled to have met you, as you said, through Mia and just um, what a, I'm so grateful to be with you today. What a great Yay. opportunity. To Yay. Yes. Thank yes. You. Yes. Well, we we've we've only just begun our adventure on this planet together. Uh, but this highlighting women in business is a big part of what it is that I'm on this planet to do. And I love meeting women where we have these red threads that are constantly popping up. So for you, you are also a lover of 11, 11, 11. Yes. And something you don't know about me is for 10 years I was in cosmetics. I actually ran the cosmetic department for Nordstrom and Macy's over the years. I've worked wow. for Chanel. I've worked for Arden. I did makeup artistry for Mac and Lancome and Laura Mercier. <laughs> and so I was reading your bio going, oh my God, I can't believe we've never met. <laughs> That's crazy. And you're right. I did not know that. Yeah, it's it's not, not really me. It's so long ago, right? It feels like a lifetime ago. Uh, but it was fun to kind of think about those fun memories and just, I love that. I love kind, when kindred spirits re get a chance to reconnect. So tell, yeah. tell my audience a little bit about you, maybe outside of what, you know, your bio says. Wow. Um, I'm a mother of a 12 year old girl, um, married uh, we've been together for as long as I've been in beauty. So it's actually over 30 years now. Um, I'm living at home with my parents. All of us were under the same roof, which is really cool and interesting to be <laughs> back together again. And um, uh, let's see. I love the arts. I love anything to do with museums and books and music and I think it all interconnects to what else that we're passionate about. You know, in my case, it's it's beauty and beauty products. So I think it's all interconnected. Absolutely. I, I completely agree. Well, let's dive into some of the questions that I always ask a, a pre-show. And we're going to uh, weave in what's what we're wearing on our lips. Okay. Um, and a little bit more about the sexiest beauty and how you support breast cancer awareness. So we're going to talk about that as well. But let's start with the community favorite, which is how do you define success? What does it mean to you to have a successful day? What does that look like? Uh, well, it's funny because I, you know, wrote down some answers and then thoughts about some more things to add to that. But I, and I think it really begins and it still begins with, with 
helping people, supporting people to feel empowered with their inner beauty, you know, to bring out their inner beauty. Um, I love, and that was one of the first things, you know, I love the transformative power of beauty products. And I remember being a little girl and and taking my grandmom's nail polish and it was bright red from Q-Tex and, you know, one of those kind of almost vintage, you know, looking bottles and painting my lips with it. And that transformative (laughs) power of beauty. And I love to see that. I love to bring that to other people and watch them experience that. So and when that happens, when I see that, that feels really successful. Um, yeah. I also love giving back how whatever shape and form that takes or helping others or being of service somehow or adding value somehow. And I feel really successful when I can do that. Um, and I think that is I, I am successful when I'm able to do that. Mm. And, and And then at the end of the day, you know, being able to do those things and make a living at it, you know, I mean, so somehow somewhere along the way, being successful, I'm not successful if I can't continue to do those things, you know, Um, so financial, uh, the finances come into it. But as I was thinking more about it, the other thing, and so that kind of goes full circle. So to be able to, you know, empower people through beauty, to be able to give back, and then to be financially successful at it, um, just brings you back full circle to the beginning, you know, to be able to keep doing those things. So uh, I'm somewhere, you know, at the end of that curve and trying to make it work. Um, so I can, can keep going with, you know, that full circle. And the other thing I thought about that I didn't include, um, is just feeling like some kind of peace and some kind of serenity, like at the end of the day, like feeling that, um, I was, you know, that I was able to add value. I guess it goes back to adding value again, but to feel like at peace and, uh, serenity and feel that connection also with my family, Mm. um, gives me and friends, you know, uh, that gives me a great feeling of success. Um, so yeah. I love that. Well, and and there's so many layers to how you define success. I love that. I don't, I'm pretty sure after, I mean, I've done many of these on CJS, but I don't think anybody's had like this multi-layer definition of success. (laughs) And I, and I love it because I believe that there are so many luscious layers to our lives that if we can find words that describe what success means in each one of them, we actually have the ability to see that success when it's happening. And in crazy times, especially like we're in now with so many things coming at us that don't feel great. They don't feel good. We feel anxious. There's so much anxiety. There's so much depression. There's so much fear floating around that if we don't have that anchor of at the end of the day, today was successful, we can start to lose heart. And so I love, I love all of the, all of the words you wove together. And I completely subscribe to beauty, helping us bring what's on the inside out. Mm -hmm. Uh, And Mm -hmm. I having lioness confidence is putting on red lipstick for me. (laughs) Me too. You know, um, I'm wearing warrior red, you're wearing warrior red. Yes. So last week I talked about this. I talked about this on spill the tea with Molly. I have mine too. Yay. Uh, (laughs) And I also have the, the gloss, which I got, I didn't use that today. Um, but I have used it and I did the trick of putting it on my finger and just kind of dabbing on that was rad. That's a rad tip. Um, cause otherwise this thing would be like pink. Um, but let's let's talk about the the connection between pulling out that that confidence and that power that's within us and and how when we are put, doing something that's so simple and natural to so many of us which is putting some color on our lips. Like what do you have words you say to yourself when you're putting on warrior red or or cha cha aka nice melons or like what does the process look like? <laughs> What does it look like for you when you pull out one of these beautiful tubes of confidence? Oh, gosh. I don't know that I say words to myself. I probably do and don't realize it. Um, (laughs) But I definitely it's definitely a feeling, you know, it's definitely a feeling. um, 
it's a transformation. You know, I went through the process, obviously getting ready today and, you know, it takes longer and more pro parts of the process as, as the older I get. But, um, you know, and the <laughs> final thing, <laughs> the final thing that I did, you know, I had no lipstick on. And, and sometimes I, I will do a live chat where I actually ap will apply the lipstick on air, you know, so or, you know, in a video just so so we can all see like that before and after. And, and so it's that, that feeling that I, you know, I had, I had everything else done, but I had no lips on and um, I don't always wear eye makeup. So that definitely helps. But uh, when I do have eye makeup on, um, but if, if, and when I either have, you know, no other makeup on or even just, you know, what I'm wearing today, which is quite a bit, I feel naked without that lipstick. I really do. And it could just be over, you know, the decades of wearing a lipstick. I won't leave home without a lipstick. Now I won't get on a zoom call without a lipstick. So it's that feeling when I put on that red lipstick, I definitely feel like I can take on the world. I call it a suit of confidence armor for me. I put on that lipstick and I'm ready to to take on the world. I love that. So for those of you who are asking in the stream now, or if you're sitting in your car listening to the podcast replay, you're thinking, what lipstick? How do I get this? Uh, we're using a fancy new tool around here in the studio that allows me to drop a photo of this gorgeous lipstick and automatically sends a link. So hop on over to this link, use the code MOXIE20 and order your Warrior Red. Now I know you are always supporting breast cancer through this color. And of course it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I want to, to talk about that, but you're also doing something extra special on the sexiestbeauty.com this month. So share with us what you've got cooking over there. Uh, something, oh yes, extra special this month. Well, the whole, the whole site for the whole month is, uh, give back to beautiful self and they've been partners. We've been partners really since the beginning, well, before the beginning of my company, but what, what they do. So on my website, um, this month, um, the purchase with the purchase of any, any product at all on my website, any shade, any product, any formula, $10 of that purchase, which is a hundred percent of the proceeds. And then some, because you, you get free shipping as well, um, goes back to beautiful self. So, um, warrior red is 365 days of the year, but for the month of October, for those 30, 31 days, it's anything on my website. Um, any of these. Any, any of these. Any and of these. I, I have um, this one, PJ Party. So I wore this to the dentist yesterday. And again, okay. the dentist was like in awe. <laughs> She's like, is that, tra is that transfer proof? I think is what she called it. I said, oh, no, no. This is called S proof. And she smiled. She had this hysterical, smirky smile on her face. She's like, does <laughs> S stand for what I think it stands for? And I said, really? Well, what do you think it stands for? And she goes, sex. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. <laughs> well, she was right. I told her, I said, oh my gosh, you're so right. You are so right. I said, there's many S's and people, you know, drop, drop their S's over Heather's direction when they found, find them. Um, what is, what is that one? <laughs> that one is, see, it used to say sex proof on it. And then I guess some of the retailers didn't, you know, think it was appropriate or so I did uh, tone it down. Um, and scaled it back to just the S and it can really mean, you know, I was just trying to be cheeky because I've been around for so many years didn't, you know, okay, it's transfer proof. So, okay. It's kiss proof. Okay. It's well, yeah, it's, it's sex proof. But, um, so now it just, it stands, there's so many S's, you know, and I love the idea of having people make up their own S. I mean, it really does withstand anything you want to throw at it, as you know. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Spaghetti. Sitting in the dentist chair, <laughs> safety mask proof. This, this I mean, here's a, a silver lining of those masks, right? The the safe, not a not a face mask, although it would last through a, a face mask, ladies. Uh, but a safety mask, the masks that we're all having to wear ev everywhere we go. Uh, for those professional women who are still working, who are working with clients. And there's a lot of folks that are mm -hmm. entrepreneurs running their own businesses and a lot of women in the real estate space and real estate is an essential um, 
service, I think is what they mm -hmm. call it, essential service. And mm -hmm. so those, those lionesses are in and out of that mask. <laughs> and it can yeah. look like All a lipstick long. graveyard in there. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, that's the thing. You bring up a great point. People are out. They, we had to get, we have to go back to, to work. We have to go about our lives. You know, you have to go out and to your point, and if you're a realist in real estate or, or other industries where, you know, you're on the go, you're in and out of houses, you're in and out of your car, you're in front of people, you're, you know, then in between you want to, you take your mask off and, and here it is all covered with lipstick. So I do yeah. love that we, we are able to provide a product that can solve that problem too. It's, yeah, it's a problem solver. It is a problem solver. It solves problems. It's solving, <laughs> solving things every day. And, and I think the fun part about it is that there is a color for everyone. Right. There's a shade for everyone. And <laughs> uh, I, I see that Molly is here. She is my collaboration sister. And she was like, oh, red. Ah, ah you wouldn't catch me dead in red. Are there other colors? <laughs> <laughs> and and so she you actually sent her was it what nude or kitten I can't remember which one she yeah. ended up getting yeah she got the nudie cutie which is our latest <laughs> shade love that um I'd like <laughs> to see a little more coverage in this one though so I told her if it doesn't have enough coverage that I would replace it with a kitten which is the next shade up Ooh, I like that. And then this is the, the, the you know, neutral ish shade that I chose, which is Girl Crush. And I love yes. that. Uh, I really, love. really love it. My husband was like, hey, I like that. He loves, he calls it no kiss off. <laughs> like, yes, he loves true. it. Smooth proof. Um, who does smooth proof? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't, who doesn't love to play? dress up from time to time and try something new, try a fun shade and party with a purpose. We're helping raise awareness for breast cancer. Now you have your, the charity that you focus on is with your a gorgeous partner who is in the Instagram stream. So uh, head on over to Instagram slash the, the sexiest beauty to see her delicious stream. If you are on the Moxie mailing list, then you definitely got some of the images. You can just click one of those and it'll take you to, to her IG stream. Uh, but beautiful photography, beautiful model faces who it seems to be are like your followers, your friends, the people in your world. It's not like you're not hiring some fancy schmancy New York modeling agency to put their, their lipstick on. I love that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the sexy, I'm glad you mentioned that because from the beginning, the sexiest beauty has really been about you. You know, it's about you, which I've neglected to mention at the beginning. You know, the sexiest beauty isn't about a pinup. It's not about a celebrity. It's not about a supermodel. It's about you're already the sexiest beauty, you know, mm. so the tools for you to feel, you know, your best, look your best and go out and do your thing. And so the people in the, in the campaigns and the images that, that, that I've done since the beginning have all been um, either were already friends or I met through friends or, you know, so many amazing people that I've met along the way um, that have, have um, become brand ambassadors you know, um, friends of the brand, such as, your, you know, yourself and Mia. And it's just, I feel like we're all stronger together. Um, and it's really about, um, you know, bringing, it's, it's about a tribe. It's about a community. It's about a group of people, you know, like-minded, um, you know, we're, it's, it's not that we all, you know, we're Id identical. We're all, it's really about diversity. It's, you know, it's about all different, um, types of people and, um, we did a campaign called Speak Your Sexy, and it was about the, this diverse group of people and what they were passionate about, um, you know, in the world. And, and uh, it was nine different points of view, and they were all very diverse so and authentic. It's about authenticity. I love that. We'll, we'll definitely get the link to that campaign and drop it into the comments and the show notes for sure so everyone can see that. Uh, because I think that's, you know, diversity, when I asked you what one word is kind of your guiding light right now, your word was diversity. 
And I think that as, as women, in particular, as um, I am a white woman, I don't know how, how you identify yourself, uh, but I think part of being co-conspirators, which is my goal, is to mm -hmm. be a co-conspirator, is about shining a light on those around us, right? Like using these beautiful platforms that we have been blessed to create and say, what's going on over there? Mm -hmm. And you, you know, what, what secrets do you, are you ready to share? What stories do you want to tell? And what suffering can we help with? Right. What, what have you been facing and, and things mm -hmm. that maybe unconsciously we are perpetuating. And I, I feel like this has been a year of so many lessons learned about that, mm -hmm. right? Like, Oh my gosh, I never really thought about what I was saying and the impact it could have. And I could say it a totally different way and not have a negative impact on anyone. So why wouldn't mm -hmm. I change the way I say things or do things? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I love that your, um, your company really supports that and shines a light on that and shows us the way, right? Shows us how we can um, shine a light on diversity. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I th and I think what you said about just trying to do better, you know, um, I'm trying to do better than than what I've done in the past. And I'm trying to do better than what um, some of the other um, some of the other opportunities that I've ha had in my life or other, you know, I'm, I'm trying to I'm definitely we're all trying to do better, um, yes. I guess. And each day, like you said, it's a learning experience um, and we just want to to be there. And, and as you said, be a platform. Um, I, I say for your for your powerful voices to be heard. So and the storytelling that you mentioned, I want to hear your stories. I want to share your stories. And yeah. um, it's, I think so it's beautiful. really important. Yeah. I, and I, I believe that through our stories is where we find our red threads. Right. Like me reading mm -hmm. your story helped me connect myself to something in your past that's in mine. It's like, oh, how how wonderful that feels. I I am an ambivert, but I definitely lean more towards introvert. So my myself, like my soul is fine during shelter and home. Right. I love my cocoon. Uh, however, I know that there's many people in my circle who aren't, including my extremely extroverted husband, right? Mm -hmm. And along this path, along all of these learnings, it's okay. So because I'm comfortable, doesn't mean everyone else is. And so what can I do to serve other people where they are while still honoring myself? And doing the show this way was one of those things. It's, it's, something small, Heather, right? Like I was meeting people right. on Zoom, just the two of us having these conversations and then sending them the, to the producer to put on the podcast. I'm like, why am I doing that? Like now we can engage and have this conversation in a space and expand the reach, extend the connection, create more engagement. Um, even between the two of us, as we head to the stream after the show, right? It's, mm -hmm. it creates more opportunities for us to all connect ourselves to one another. And uh, I am one of the uh, leaders for an organization. Uh, well, California Association of Realtors has an initiative called Woman Up. And yes. I partner with Sarah Sudachan, who I'm sure is listening right now. Oh, I see her. She just made a comment. Uh, uh -huh. And what, you know, the reason we come together and are able to create something so powerful is because we know who we are. We know who we serve. We know who we want to shine a light on. And we know whose stories are, who's ready to tell their story is the person who tells their story, right? There's, you don't have to, push people to do something they're not ready for because there's plenty of people who are ready to then trigger and inspire others to do the same. Mm -hmm. um, I call that, I call my female community, my lioness pride. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that. And it, well, it's, it, there's a feeling that you get, right? The women who are attracted to being a lioness and a lioness pride are my people. Right. And and right. so same with people who are warrior princesses or dragon slayers or whatever your term is, like because we have this ability to be here together and talking about uh, who we serve and how we serve them and use our words, that, you know, use the words that we're we're creating that that we're creating from our soul to attract those we're meant to do life with. It's such a gift. It's truly such a gift. 
It really is. And, and I love what you just said. And that was one of the things that, um, I, I have as part of my brand story is about the power of the, of your words. And, uh, you know, they say eyes are the window to your soul. And, <sighs> but to me, lips are the doorway to your truth and your power and Ooh. being able to speak about what you're passionate about. So, you know, and there's been studies that have been done. And, and I, I just walked into a newscast, um, it was just the regular news last night. And there was a woman or no, it was Jeopardy. It wasn't the news. It's usually the news on over <laughs> my parents' house, but it was Jeopardy. And the woman had on this like bold red lipstick and you just, inst- I, it, you know, well, maybe it's because I'm into that, but I just instantly stopped <laughs> and I was like, what does she say? You know, when you can enhance that your actual mouth, you know, that is the channel for your words to come through. Yes. I'm telling you, there's research that's been done that people will have a higher tendency of to listen to what you're saying. I love I that. I yeah. love that. And and I love the 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 doorway to your truth. Yeah. Like that I made that up. <laughs> that that needs to be on a pillow, right, Mia? <laughs> <laughs> Mia and I have a, a pillows. I love yeah. it. Yes, we have these. Your lips yeah. are the doorway to speak your truth. Yes, we need to add that to our list. <laughs> I think that's so much fun. Well, Put let's 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 shine a light back on you for a moment, if we may, and talk about the three words that you chose to describe yourself. And so the the three words that Heather chose were determined, kind, and curious. So, which, these are such fun words. So let's talk about the why behind each one. Why'd you choose determined? Well, I, I just never give up. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just get up in the morning and I'm determined to accomplish whatever it is that I set out to do. I'm determined to make a difference. I'm determined to, um, you know, all the things that we've already talked about. I just have a determination. I don't know. I guess you could probably learn it. And some days I have to um, push myself a little more than others. But, um, you know, it's just kind of how I um, operate. I love that. I feel determined to accomplish what it yeah. is. And there's a lot of things, you know, there's not just one thing I'm determined to. I'm determined to be a great mom. You know, I'm determined to be a great family member and wife and friend. Yes. So I'm determined. To I be love that. Things. I love, I love that word. Um, in my world, I call that tenacious. tenacious. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which is one of the, uh, the, the sister words to Moxie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And when I do back in the day, when I used to do my live speeches, <laughs> Yes, I used to have everyone amazing. stand up and do these affirmations that, you know, like, I am courageous, I am gracious, I am tenacious, I am vivacious, yes. right? Like these, all it. these words that are, are uh, really connected to, to being the that best version of who you already are here. You just let her out. Yes. It's who you let already are. That's, I love that you said that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so, uh, yeah, I uh, let's go. Um, kind and you put, and loving as well. So kind and loving, uh, it's quite clear why you chose those two words, uh, to all of us, but from your perspective, what do those words weave into who you are? Well, I think if you lead with those things, um, and you believe in it, uh, everything else, flows from there. I think mm. if you start off by, and I, you know, I am not perfect at any of this. Some days I'm a raving, you know, you know what, <laughs> but um, that's usually if I'm pushed to that extent, of course, it's not just yes. because I woke up on the bed, wrong side of the bed. No, uh, I wake up <laughs> on the wrong side of the bed too, but um, I don't know. I just feel better leading with kindness. I'm just also naturally, and I think at, at loving, um, I lead with love. Um, 
I can't stand hate and haters and I just, it makes me really uncomfortable and almost sick to my stomach, uh, physically nauseous to be around it or see it or, um, you know, uh, so I tend to avoid that and try to, you know, um, do the opposite. Yes. With yeah. the script. Yeah. But it's, it's, um, comes from my heart. So it's not too, um, much of a stretch. Um, so I, you know, try to, I feel a lot better when I, when I lead with those two things. Yeah. I think, I think kindness is sexy too. Kindness. Yes. It is sexy. sexy. Not just pin up like pin up and kindness is sexy yeah I I love there's the quote I I have no idea if it's quoted appropriately or not but I want to say um that it now I'm not going to say it because I don't want I don't want to get the storm of people going no it's not hers but the whole (laughs) like the 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 definition of beauty is you know the the kindness in a woman's soul the the sweet you know the kind words on her lips those types of things and i think that in in this season of uh, not only sheltering at home but with all of the political conversations happening and the divisiveness Mm -hmm. that that's created. And, and I think our lack of emotional intelligence uh, in so many people, because they've been, they haven't had to have conversations with other people for months, right? They haven't had to have conversations with people outside their home, except for on social media, which you can be a total clown. You know, you don't have to behave, at least that's what some people There's think no they don't have to behave. It's like, no one's <laughs> unless you're on Mia's stream. And then mm, she comes in with the golden whip and says, Mm-mm, not on my watch. Uh, <laughs> and, but I feel like there Shut is that, that having, uh, you know, wrapping everything we do in kindness as often as possible is, is the way to combat the hate it, you know, coming to things in a loving way is a way to at, at least for our own souls, let's start there, right? right. Our own selves. If we can look yeah. ourselves in the mirror and say, today I spoke truth, today I spoke life. Uh, and I, I'm flipping as many of those negative thoughts as I can on a daily basis. So mm-hmm. let's talk about the third word that you chose, which was curious. And I love that. I'm, I'm a lioness. So I love curious <laughs> kittens as well. Yeah. So let's talk about that word. I love the word curious and curiosity. Yeah, I think when I was little, I had a pair of um, cut off uh, shorts and I put some embroidery on the inside and it, and, and it said, be curious, like from a little girl, like I just always, I really just love, and it's a little bit of like, you know, I, I sometimes have to force myself to focus, but I want to know everything about everything. I want to um, know everyone, you know, I want to know more about each individual person. Um I'm just really curious. I'm curious, you know, we were talking earlier about art and culture and, um, th- and, and travel. And, and I think all those things inform everything else that we do, you know? Um, so I'm curious about how all those things funnel into your life and funnel into, you know, um, I'm able to take those things and apply them into, you know, it, it's kind of a little bit like has to do with um, I love trends and what's happening and what's coming. And, and you can't really have a, your finger on the pulse of trend and what's coming and what's happening if you're not curious, you right. know? So I think all those, uh, it just kind of naturally informs um, whatever I'm working on as well to be I curious. Love that. But, yeah. Um, I, I would also- absolutely agree. Yeah. It's also a little scattered sometimes. Sometimes I have to reel myself in because <laughs> I want to do everything. I finally realized I'm not a good multitasker as much as I like prided myself on being able to do three things at once. Yeah. Like, I can't. I can only do one thing at once. <laughs> right. Well, you can do the mediocre. Uh, yeah, <laughs> mediocrely. <laughs> Is that a word? Yeah. But yeah, you can, you can do them all at, at half. 
level <laughs> or you can focus. Yeah. <laughs> we can chew gum and grocery shop at the same time. Totally fine. <laughs> it's, just, it's just what we're multitasking, right? I love that. Exactly. That's so good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So you mentioned you are fun. a mama bear and yeah. you are a wifey. Yay. Uh, yeah. In 30 years, like decades, which is yeah. like, cheers to you. Cheers to that. That is, I mean, being with the same human is uh, such an adventure, right? Uh, I do a show, as you know, on Tuesdays with Molly and yes. we, we've we had some great conversations about how, you know, like the, Disney and the media and the movies have all kind of created like what your partner is, is supposed to be this romantic rose petal pulling, knowing every thought that goes through your head, riding in on whatever kind of animal you want them to ride on to save you and ride into the sunset. When the reality is they're the grit that, sh that helps us shine. Mm. And the grit doesn't always feel good, but it is good for us. And right. it, it's the more we talk about that, the more we share our stories of, you know, the greedy moments and that it isn't, I mean, those things are great to have, but a lifetime of somebody who doesn't really help you improve who you are is a tragedy. Mm -hmm. right? it, it's a tragedy. Like I love a good knockdown, shake out, like, you know, improve me and make me better. Like, <laughs> but come right. with, come with truth. Don't come right. with imagination, like imaginary, <laughs> imaginary facts. <laughs> come with truth. But I love that. And, and Drew and I definitely have that as well as my lionesses around me. Right. Mm -hmm. And you've got really right. strong, amazing women around you as yeah. well. And that is huge. Um, I think that's so great, but let's talk about the other soul, soul tank filling um, activities you've got. Like, what do you love? What do you do that makes you feel so much more energized than when you did when you walked in the door? Well, we touched on, you brought up, you know, I, uh, about my kid, my kid just does that, you know, that joy and that, um, incredible spirit, um, of, you know, the fact that, you know, children, you know, what children have, and also it's, it's her personality is just so vibrant. So that mm -hmm. totally fills my tank. Um, she does, she really does. And spending time with her, which, you know, I'm a workaholic in case I hadn't mentioned. So <laughs> I could, you know, totally just like 24 hours a day, if I didn't have to sleep or eat or do, you know, anything else would be fine, but, uh, it's really not. So, um, she and my husband, you know, pull me out of that and we do a lot of fun things together. Um, and then otherwise, um, you know, the, the, the self-care, um, you know, doing things for myself, um, getting my hair blown out today. Um, you know, I love things like that. That really, um, it sounds crazy, but I think it's because I don't normally take the time to do that. Yeah. And I feel more like, um, what is, who is it in Cinderella? I usually feel more like the, the one who's like, you know, with the mop and like, I like to be behind the scenes. I like to just <laughs> grind out the work. I like to be the one, you know, with the mop and, and doing, you know, um, and, and not really taking care of myself. Um, so when I do do that, it really does fill my tank. And then it's like, kind of like reminds me like, oh yeah, that self care, like take a break, go for a walk, do some exercise, you know, take a yeah. nice long shower with like these amazing bath products and um, really treating, you know, myself and pampering myself that fills my tank. Yeah. Uh, we talk a lot about self-care around here. It's a mm -hmm. huge focus. Self-care and self-talk are two of the cornerstones of the, the Moxie movement in general, Heather. And when I'm listening to you talk about you know, the, um, the mop versus the, you know, spending time for yourself, it, it kind of reminds, well, it does remind me of, you know, being more Mary than Martha, right? The, it, when you are somebody who likes to be behind the scenes that likes to make, you know, create the experiences, but you don't actually yes. experience them. Yes. Uh, you have the, you have, there's a fine line between joy and bitterness in that role. Mm. Yes. And the only savior of that is self-care. 
is yeah. taking time to be the Mary in some of your moments. You don't have to do it all the time because there who's has Mary? to be a Martha. Martha and Mary. Martha? Uh, <laughs> you're like, who's Martha and Mary? <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's, they're the uh, sisters of Lazarus. It's a, it's a Bible story. Okay. Uh, but there have been, you know, many, many stories written about these two women and about how it, the story mm. is that, that Jesus came to visit them and their brother Lazarus. And Martha was busy in the kitchen doing all the things, getting everything ready, you know, getting, preparing the, the meals and the cleaning things. And Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet, listening to him, taking it in, soaking in his words, soaking in the way. Right. That it, it, she believed that he was teaching her how to ascend. And Martha's like, well, psh, what's going on? Like it, she should help me. And she, Jesus is like, actually, no, like you come here. <laughs> <laughs> like you come here and you hang out with us. And, and there, but we need both. It's just, we all Mary's need to step up and help in the kitchen so that Martha can sit down with Jesus. Like mm. we need, so it, having a balanced community is really important. Having a, a partner and children and friendies that are, are like, Hey, when was the last time you slowed down? When was the last time you had a blowout? When was the last time, you know, you painted your toes a wild color, yeah. like reminding you. And part of that is our responsibility is to let them know, these are the things I need you to remind me to do. Yes. <laughs> like I ask for help reminding yourself that you need self-care. That's it, it feel when you say it out loud, you're like, well, yeah, that would probably be a good idea if my family knew my soul tank filling activities. Um, but yep. so many of us don't, we, we keep that inside and we're like, we're feeling cranky pants are coming on and we're like, oh, now I got to do self-care. Like <laughs> versus, yes. versus your husband knocking at the door going, Hey, it's, you know, time to walk the dog or whatever it might be. So yeah, um, I think that's, I, I love that. I love that it wraps around uh, your family doing family time and self-care mm -hmm. and that we're being aware that you need more self-care is the first step. Yeah. And I was really looking for the list I wrote last night. I had to write myself a list. It was like one through five because I have a list. I have an agenda of what I'm going to do for, for work during the day but I don't have an agenda or a list for what I'm going to do to take care of myself. You know, most um, people don't. Yeah. So now I have a list for like the, you know, some medical stuff, you know, go to the dentist da, 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 da. and then I have another list for the self care <laughs> stuff, which included go for a walk, talk to a friend, da, 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 you know, um, do a walk so and I, talk, take a walk and talk to a friend. Like it was a walk and talk. Yeah. She actually met me at the park too. So that Yay. was really cool. And we did yes. a walk and talk. She goes, I thought we would kill two birds with one stone. You know, I'd meet you at the park. I was like, even better. Yes. So, but it's taking the time to reach out to that, to a, you know, make the list. Th these are things I have to force myself to do. Otherwise mm -hmm. I would just sit here and work 24 hours a day. I, I wouldn't yeah. eat. I wouldn't sleep. I wouldn't well, when, when you love what you do, it, yeah, when you do find your purpose and you're, you're, you are living your purpose out loud and serving a community that you're passionate about, it is very easy to fall into that. It's, it's simply self-care is, it needs to be strategic. You have to recognize that just like you plan your doctor and dentist appointments, you plan your mammograms, you plan when your family is going to do all of the above as well. That right. self-care has been, we've been taught that it's selfish to take time for ourselves. In particular, women have, uh, we've been praised for being the good, quiet girl who takes care of everyone else. Mm -hmm. And we're crushing that. <laughs> like, just right there. Yeah. It's gone. Flicking yeah. it out the door and saying, no, that's, that's not the life that we want to live. That doesn't allow us to live our purpose to our fullest potential. And so the, the reminders are great when I do uh, my fire up workshops or do talks. One of the fun things that I have everyone do is write down five things they love to do for fun that are free, right. That they mm -hmm. can do at the drop of a hat. Uh, and I, I always just like, I love, obviously I'm a Francophile. I love France. I love the Eiffel Tower. If I could see her every single day for the rest of my life, I would be very, very happy. 
Um, and, but I don't put that on my soul tank list because I can't just pop on a plane and you know be sipping champagne on the Eiffel Tower every day when I need to switch my cranky pants, right? And so, uh, it, like, it, the, that's a great vision board. That's that's great for a Pinterest board. But for right. every day, the things like you're talking about, like having a chat with a friend, taking a walk, rubbing mm -hmm. your your your, your cat or your dog's belly or uh, playing with their ears. That's one of my favorite things to do. Like I love petting Lizzie's ears. There, there's something healing about it to me. Uh, lighting a candle, taking a bubble bath, doing a meditation, mm -hmm. like all of these things. We can write all of these things down, uh, put them in your phone. And then on Mondays, I look at that list and I'm like, okay, like, let's go. What, what are we doing this week? And when you're networking at these events where you go to when there's actual you know, when we're in person and you're at a networking event, like one of the things that I encourage them to do is share what you love to do for fun. Stop asking mm -hmm. people what they do for a living. That always comes out. Right. Like we're a weird society that says basically like, what do you do to get paid? Yeah. <laughs> like as an opening question, what do you do for money, Heather? Right. Versus like, what do you love? Like what's your passion project or what, do, what you yeah. know, what fills you? Um, and I always find when I start with, what do you love to do for fun? The conversation is so much more alive and a twinkle goes in their eyes when they say, I took a walk with a friend. Right. Yeah. I love it. So much fun. So speaking of uh, words that we love and spending time with people we love and filling up our soul tank, that all kind of wraps up into uh, one of my final questions before we do a little rapid fire, <laughs> uh, which is, uh, my favorite question, what does moxie mean to you? Oh, yeah. Um, let me see what I, because I, I, I did remember I told you I was curious, right? I had, mm -hmm. I had to look it up. <laughs> um, so like I said, I had a general idea. Then I found out it was a soft drink in the 30s. It was probably like Red Bull. It was probably like... <laughs> like the first Red Bull. Oh yeah. It gave you pep. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. It sounds like yeah. Red Bull and they called it Moxie. Yes. Um, and then to me, I just, you know, besides all that and what it, you know, I, it means guts and determination and having boldness of character and, it, yeah. and the courage to take risks and go against the norm. I think, um, you know, we use the term moxie. You, you hear it. It, it, it. It's 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 funny to, you know, think of it in a modern way. And, um, you know, I think you're a, a perfect example of, of what a modern day moxie is. It's that courage and, and, and determination to make a difference and to do things that may be against the norm um, or not, you know, but <laughs> people can relate to and I, you know, speak the truth and I, you, they can identify with. So it's having that courage and, and, and it, there's that word determination or tenacity again, being tenacious. Yeah. yeah. Um, S absolutely. Yeah. 100%. You know, one of the things that I did when, uh, right after I wrote the fire up book, I had this desire to of course change everything on my website. Cause now I had all these new words because I had to put into words, these feelings and emotions and thoughts that were flying around in my head. You know, you have to take them from here and put them on paper, which is mm -hmm. terrifying <laughs> already. But then it was like, well, how do I start getting the world to understand really what is at the heart of this? And that's when my personal tagline of she speaks truth wrapped in grace with sides of sass, moxie and fire. That's when that yeah. was born. Right. And, yes. and it needed, it needed to come out of my head and my heart and my soul and my spirit so that other people understood when they're talking to me, really who they're going to get, because what you see is what you get. <laughs> like mm -hmm. being a truth teller is something that is, it's not always the fun role to play, but I would not trade it for the world mm -hmm. because I've learned the, to, to wrap it in grace. And sometimes it's a little feistier version of, uh, of sassy <laughs> right? <laughs> because yeah. they haven't heard me yet. <laughs> but if we all embrace our own version of moxie, our own version of brave, our own version of sexy. Yeah. Right. Like we, we can be all of the, all of the words. 
in our own unique way. And that, this is one of the reasons I love being alive in this time. There are some crazy things going on on the planet, but this is like unlike no other time right? There's never been this moment. And we have access to having conversations like this mm -hmm. with women like you who are changing the your slice of the galaxy. One mm -hmm. lippy, one, you know, oh, wait, we didn't talk about that face bump. Like, tell us about that. Let me, I'm going to drop that in to the stream real oh, quick. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. So this it's, it's coming back soon. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's the rose glow face balm. And, uh, you know, the, the sexiest beauty has always been as far as the products, um, about more, the idea was always about more than lipstick, but obviously, you know, we, we started with lipstick for the reasons we talked about, but it's about right. those products that are going to be super luxurious uh, super sensual and really high performance. So this product is, um, it's, it's a hybrid of a skincare and a makeup product um, in one. So it, it's more skincare than makeup, but the effect, you know, due to the ingredients with the, um, with the rose extract mm. and the oat bran extract, which is going to be soothing. And it just gives your skin that beautiful glow. I but can't wait to try this. You did send me yeah. a, a a little sneak peek of it. I'm so excited yes. to try it. Yes, yes. Try your sneak peek. Yes. And then we'll be back in stock before 11 7 is the date that I'm hopeful we'll um, achieve to start shipping the orders that we have in. And and uh, we're, we're still taking orders. So it's just a beautiful glow to your skin. It's that dewy freshness. I love it. Well, yeah. and you know, with all of the, the lights, camera action <laughs> that we're doing yeah. these days with Zoom or Google Meet or WebEx or whatever platform we're putting our face on, like it's fun to try new products that bring out that inner glow to the outside, right? Again, so the lipstick brings us confidence, the glow we can put on and, and we can actually live confidently in our own skin without having to have like 17 different filters. That's the thing. You really, it's a filter free kind of formula. That's a great uh, sort of tagline for it. It's, it's, it's a filter in a bottle, filter in a jar. It really does give you that uh, very smooth. It can be used as a primer. It can be used, you mix it with your foundation. Um, I have a little video I'm going to mm. post about that, the different ways that you can use it, but it really does give you that filter in a jar. Yeah. And, and I think that we're, we are all, finding ways back to our authentic self, to loving, loving the lines, right? Loving, yeah. loving the, I hate that they call them crow's feet. It's such an <laughs> awful, awful <laughs> word, right? I mean, I guess at least they're not saying crone's feet, but, <laughs> but just like the lines, like I, I've actually loved looking at photos where women have these beautiful lines, striking lines. Mm -hmm. And you can, it's, it is, you can see into their eyes deep in a deeper way. It's almost mm -hmm. like they're like little arrows, like little rivers running right in, like come, come in and look deeply into my eyes. Um, Molly and I were actually talking about the reclaiming of the word witch again, like taking it from the, uh, that, that evil kind of, that's the devil, uh, this bad thing into this way of, of, really embracing the sage stage, mm -hmm. right? And where we've got the lines and, you know, maybe a chin hair or two. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay. I'm going to draw the line with the chin hairs. Yeah, no, I don't leave myself. them, but I do go, Oh yeah. Got to do a little work there, but like recognizing that's not the end of the world that I have to no, know, do a little work. World. Right. But that, that I've earned it all. And it's been because I've lived a, a, a lusciously wild life. And, yes. and we have um, these fun products that help us to embrace that, uh, that part of us, this beautiful canvas that we all have, that we can bring out this beautiful glow. So I love, I love that it's lips, that it's skin, that it is mm -hmm. building that confidence. So I think you can actually even get a, a selfie light on your website. Like you can. I only have one <laughs> left. There's only one left in stock. So uh but you can clip it onto your phone. That's and, so great. Uh, yeah. I just thought it was fun just to do, you know, as an in and out, which I did. And some yeah. of the other products that I have are more self-care driven. 
Um, so there's a lip mask. Um, and Mia just got these products, the lip mask and the lip scrub. So you can kind of do mm. like a self care at home. You know, you want to have a perfect primer, uh, for your lipstick and you yeah. can enjoy the mask, uh, which is this product here. Um, I like to put it around my lip a, about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch out mm. from my lip. And then it's a leave on. You can either, yes. you know, leave it on for five minutes or you can leave it on overnight. And it has peptides that help reduce the wrinkles like for real. I love that. I love lip care. I love <laughs> lip care. Like I'm, my mom sold Mary Kay and Avon when I was a kid. Uh -huh. and, and so I learned the art of skincare very young. Mm. Oh, like, that's awesome. Very, I was her assistant. You know, remember back when Mary yes. Kay used to have those little like trays with the mirrors, a little dip of Formula yeah. One. Here's your cotton with your toner. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I love that. They had these little like packet, like little packets and sampling things. And yes. you could make the little sample kits for people. And oh, I love it. I love it. I, and it, awesome. it's the yeah. it's the art of self-care. We're, we're right back to this. It, it, you can take care of individual parts of your body as well, your lips. Yeah. And especially lips since they're too. the doorway to your truth. Hello. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> lips are people too. Oh, I love it. I it's love like that. you and do skincare, you know, you can take care of your lips uh, as well. There is a slight, you know, difference in the skin um, that you can give them a little extra boost. They don't have pores, uh, the oil glands that replenish. So you're going to want to, um, and that's another product I forgot to mention. I, I sent one to Molly. Uh, we were joking. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, it's the Shea Butter. So it's just a super um, nourishing uh, lip balm that's also available on my website because um, it does, it replenishes the oils that your lips don't have, a natural oil. So <laughs> they tend to get, especially with the masks, you know, yes. you're wearing a mask all day. Um, also, I forgot to mention for mask, mask knee, you know, you're getting uh, people, myself included, are getting uh, around the face from the masks. This is a great product to put on because it's hydration. It's the only I don't use that word loosely because it's it has to have water in it to be hydrating. Uh, so this is a water based formula that's going to uh, re replenish the moisture in your skin that that mask is just sucking out. I love that. I love, I mean, again, taking the time and I, th I find that especially for the super fierce focused women who are, you know, really truly building their, their slice of the galaxy, that having something specific you're going to do during your self-care time is important. Not just, I'm going to take some time for myself tonight, but to say, okay, tonight I am going to do a lip mask. I am going to do a scrub and then a moisturize and like having a plan so that we actually do the time. We invest the time. I, I think that's so much fun. <laughs> You're a hundred percent right. Whenever I leave it vague for myself, um, <laughs> it doesn't happen. No, I just keep working because I, there's no like end goal. We are so we end we goal. really are naughty, and and that's again why having dear friends uh, remind us of that often and with grace and love <laughs> and shame. <laughs> <laughs> that that yeah. it'll, it does remind us, right? It reminds us to, you know, like, hey, when was the last time? I, I can already hear Mia reminding us on Fridays with Frenchie. Like, when was the last time you've done your lip mask? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's got those, She's the, the, the cards that she brings, you know, that she does the inspiration cards and the, the affir affirmators. And yep. I'm sure there's going to be some self-care talk. Maybe she's going to pull cards tonight. I don't know. Oh, um, but I'm sure she'll be talking. I think I saw that she's going to be talking about um, the, uh, she's going to do a little demo tonight on the show. I love it. I'm there's literally moments where oh, I'm awesome. counting down to five o'clock Pacific time. I'm like, is it, is it five yet? Is it five? Yes. yes, the time. Can we, yes. can we do this? Like last night I was saying, can we just start now? Like, I'm so excited. I just want to get on with you. Yes. And the same with, yeah, the same with Mia. I love that. Are, are you ready for some fierce, fiery, rapid fire? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, what's on your nightstand? Uh, uh, lip balm. Lip balm. Okay. Favorite movie? 
Uh, Pulp Fiction. Oh, good. That's got some good lipstick in it. Uh, sunrise <laughs> or sunset? Sunset. Mm. Dark or milk chocolate? Dark. Favorite beverage? Diet Sprite. If you could share a Diet Sprite with anyone and have a good conversation, who would it be? Um, I have to say my husband. Oh, that's sweet. I love it. If I put you on a stage with a mic, what topic would you teach? Um, hmm, that's a good one. I, I'm a Francophile too. I'm a French major. So maybe I'd give a little French lesson. Ooh, please. All right. I need to figure out how to get you a mic. Okay. So, um, what would you be doing if money were no object? Giving it all away. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, hmm. well, it would, it would definitely be empowering people through beauty products. Yep. Through yep. beauty. You do have the superpower. <laughs> <laughs> you do have it. You've embraced it. <laughs> well, I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. I'm so lucky. Uh, who would play you in the movie of your life? Oh, Uma Thurman. I knew you were going to say her. <laughs> so good. And she wears the red lippies well. I love it. Okay. Uh, complete the um, sentence. My soul tank is full when? Um, I, I finish the day and settle in for the night. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me and oh, all of the amazing lionesses who have dropped so much love and encouragement in the stream. Hopefully you have a chance to pop over there and check that out. For those of you who are watching the replay or are listening on the podcast, you can still engage with us after the fact. Drop a note on the stream on Facebook and the comments on the blog, and we would love to get connected to you. Um, as I promised, we will have all of the links we shared today about the lipstick. Um, we'll get information about the charity that you, did you show your t-shirt yet? No. Can you see it? There we go. Beautiful self. Beautiful self. I love it. I love it. We'll Check share out their some website, information on that. Beautifulself.org, Instagram, and you can donate to them directly too. Direct donations are wonderful. I love and it. Help them to continue their mission to empower survivors and fighters of breast cancer. I love it. I think Jillian dropped in the link yeah. somewhere in there, but we'll make sure to put that in the notes and everything. Thank you. I mean, we could sit here and talk for another, you know, eight hours. Totally. <laughs> And I look forward to having many, many you. more conversations. Yes, it's, I, I'm, I feel so blessed by our time together, uh, the stories that you have shared. And I, I, I know you on a deeper level now. And I, that is part of what the purpose of Moxie Chats is, is to get, to connect our red threads even a little tighter. Right. And now we've braided yeah. it with all of these amazing souls that have been watching us. And so yeah. let the connections be strong. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I pray blessings over your business and over all of the stories that you're sharing. Everyone who's been bold and brave to share their story with you, that they mm -hmm. find joy and peace and everything that their hearts desire. So for those of you who um, want to get connected with Heather, all of her links will be dropped in here. Make sure you connect with her on Instagram. Make sure to go to the sexiestbeauty.com. Order your goodies, use Moxie20 as your code, get a little something, something, and of course, raise money for breast cancer awareness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today. Any final words, Heather? Just to thank you so much for having me on, for your friendship, your love, your support, uh, everything that you're doing for the for the world and making it a better, stronger, more empowered place, uh, safe, uh, you know, wonderful place. And for your support of the Breast Cancer uh, Beautiful Self organization this month. Um, I know they're uh, so appreciative as well. You've really been so amazing in, in shedding, showing light on on the 
the promotion this month. So I really all we all really appreciate that. Thank you. You are so very welcome. All right, let's smooch it out. Bye, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Have a great weekend. Yay. See you later on Friday with the Frenchie. Bye. <laughs> Bye, hun.